Daryl Hogfoss had his morning routine down pat. Usually we would get up right around 7 to 8 o'clock and we normally had a, a route that we would walk and that ranged anywhere from two and a half to three miles. But last April, he started slowing down. At first, he thought it was the flu, until he started sleeping almost 22 hours per day. He couldn't eat and lost roughly 40 pounds. Then his peripheral vision went away. My vision on the right side and my vision on the left side was black. All I could see was straight ahead. I went in to see my primary doctor. Uh, he took one look at me and said that you're a very sick man. As his primary doctor, Stipe Ivancic ran preliminary tests on Daryl, then referred him to Sanford endocrinologist Raul Ruiz. I was able to see that there were some abnormalities in the size of his pituitary gland. And that, um, along with all of the other symptoms, kind of started making sense that his hormones were kind of shutting down. The pituitary gland is pea-sized and attached at the base of the brain. But that little gland is in charge of an incredible amount of functions. It controls the thyroid gland, it controls the adrenal glands, it controls um, ovaries and testosterone, so it, ha it plays a very important role. Um, and then those other glands make hormones that practically work on every organ of our body. Daryl's life was in danger. Most importantly in his case, his cortisol production was um, deficient. And that is a very important hormone that helps us maintain our blood pressure. That is probably the most important and crucial to replace right away because that is when a person uh, may die if it's not done in time. I was told by two physicians that I'm lucky to be here that uh, I almost died. So this is the initial MRI, so then here we can see that the pituitary gland is very enlarged and the, what we call the pituitary stalk is very thickened. And now here, um, this is a more recent MRI, we see that the inflammation is gone and then we can see the stalk a little bit better. Daryl was treated at Sanford Health and is now on hormone replacement, which he'll need to continue for the rest of his life. He takes 15 pills a day, but he is on the mend even if his old routine looks slightly different now. I probably walk about a third of what I used to. When I do yard work, I bring out a chair. When I'm exhausted, I sit down and take a break. He says the experience has given him a new, positive perspective as well. I look at things differently now. Um, things that weren't quite so important are important to me now. When, when I travel, I look at the scenery. A lot of times I used to look just straight ahead, look at the road. Now I appreciate everything that is around me and the people that are around me. In Fargo, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.